Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I hope you are well today. Today is Fragrance Friday. It has been a while since I've done Fragrance Friday by myself, and I'm kind of scared. I am. <laughs> it was so much fun to do Fragrance Friday with Jordan that, you know, I wish she was here so we could film more Fragrance Fridays, but she is far across on the other side of the country, so yeah, we do not get to film Fragrance Friday together right now. Hopefully someday again we will, but for now it's just me and my passion for fragrances. That brings you Fragrance Friday. For those of you who have never been here and are stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. To all of you who have newly subscribed, thank you for joining our family. I am excited to have you here with us. And to all of those who are returning, thanks so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. Fragrance Friday started first over on Instagram where I would talk about different fragrances. And I moved it over here to my channel because it gave me a little bit more um, time and space to give you my thoughts and feelings on, um, you know, a fragrance that I've tried throughout the week. Sometimes I have a full-size bottle, sometimes it's a roller ball, sometimes it's a sample. But I try to talk about different fragrances here on my channel. At the moment, I have just done singular fragrances but I have plans in the future to do um, you know fragrances from the same family it it is in the works trust me guys it is in the works for now we're just talking singular fragrances and today I am bringing one that has been around since 2017 and I will be completely honest, I bought it because the bottle is so darn cute, but the house is a house that I wanted to try this year. It was on my list of houses to try, and that is Moschino, and the perfume is so real, cheap, and chic. I had to think for a second what that first C word is. But this is what the bottle looks like. Isn't she lovely? Her figure is beautiful. That is her face. The bottom is got all these beautiful designs on them. Um, it's got flowers, it's got eyes, it's got faces. And then this little top here. It has... I think it's her hair because I'm assuming she's a geisha and I could be wrong but that's what she looks like to me but her hair comes off and that is where you spray from now I did not know that at first oh look I just I just learned this guys look it has a heart can you see that I did not know that. <laughs> I have been spraying this for the past couple of weeks and I had not seen that it was a heart. How cute. When I first tried So Real, I thought her head came off. So I'm a struggling and a struggling and it, it wouldn't come off people. I do not understand. <laughs> and somehow I tried. I don't know what made me try to take the top off, but I did, and you know, her hair off, and voila, she popped right off. So Real was released in 2017, like I said, and the notes are bitter orange, tangerine, sorbet. I would like a dish of sorbet about right now. It is hot in here. Raspberry and black currant, those are the top notes. The middle notes are pink peony, jasmine, and magnolia. And then the base is oak moss, musk, cedar, and ambroxan. Ambroxan is a synthetic note or compound, if you, if you will. 
it is made to replace the natural um, amber grease. Ambroxan has the scent profile of musk slash amber. So that is um, what Ambroxan is to smell like. So it has kind of a musky ambery scent to it. Now when I spray this, there is something menthol-y when I spray so real on me. It is so real that it smells like I have rubbed myself down with Icy Hot. Really. I like, I like the scent. I do, but there's this, this menthol-y note that I just don't understand. When you look at all these notes together, there is nothing that should be kicking up some type of menthol smell on me. I just don't get it. Now, at the beginning, that biting edge is really present. It's like almost choking. Um, and then it quickly dissipates into this sweet, syrupy, fruity goodness of the tangerine and the bitter orange. You really get that full presence, um, full bodied presence there. I don't really break down any other type of fruit, um, but I really get the orange presence in there with the menthol undertones. It quickly moves into the floral stage for me. I pick up the peony really, really fast. And then I start to get the jasmine, the magnolia, which makes it a very rich, warm scent to me. But you still have this brightness of that menthol. At least that's what I get. There is a brightness that is mixed in with the floral notes. That pink peony is just delightful uh, mixed in with those white floral notes. And maybe that's what is helping keep its brightness. And then it's gone just like that. In about an hour, I do not smell anything on me. I never smell the dry down. Um, I don't. I go f really quickly from the fruit to the floral. The floral sticks around. It is a warm floral with a bright, um, a bright suggestion, if you will and then it's gone. Now I've read um, where people say the longevity on them is three to four hours, that it does wear close to the skin. Um, it doesn't wear so close to the skin on me as in you have to be like standing next to me to smell it. Two to three people away you could probably smell it, but that's because I never go into that dry down. It just cuts off. And that is a really big bummer for me because I do love a woody, musky, rich dry down that, um, is promised and so real. So I'm really bummed that I never get that, those bass notes, that they never pop up on me. I do like the scent. I think it's perfect for this time of year, this summertime, and I will probably wear it this summer. Um, but you know, I have to lug this thing around if I want to keep smelling it. You know, if I want to keep wearing a perfume, I have to lug this puppy around with me and she's heavy. She is the 100 mil sign. I'm holding her backwards. It says here so real. Um, 
she is a hundred mil, but she's not gonna last for very long because I have to spray her all the time. When I was, you know, really testing her, um, you know, on those days that I'd wear her, I would have to spray her over and over and over again. And that's frustrating, you know. <laughs> that is truly frustrating because she's pretty. She's a pretty girl. So I like her, but I would never invest in her again just because I never get that dry down. I don't get more than an hour's worth of time with her. And yeah, so I really like her. I love her opening. Her middle is beautiful. You have to like the middle because the middle pops up pretty darn quick. But I have no opinion on the ending because I have yet to smell the ending. And that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's a bummer. So for me, so real is so wrong <laughs> and that makes me sad because she's gorgeous she is gorgeous you gotta admit she is a beautiful girl but that is my fragrance friday for um this week it is on moschino's so real cheap and chic you guys i hope you enjoyed this video Leave me a comment down below on some perfumes you would like to see me review. I would love to get your feedback on some perfumes and I'd like to get your feedback on Fragrance Friday, what you think of it and if there's anything that you would like to see changed about it or um, if I should do it more often, let me know down in the comments if I should just it out let me know down in the comments you guys take good care of yourself be safe and I will see you on the next one bye guys